In just the past two months, around 30 homes have been reported to be burglarized. They are people who have a lot of gall to enter somebody's home like that. People in the area of the North Valley in Josephine County are being asked to keep a close eye out for anything or anyone suspicious. Our neighbors right there across the street uh, were burglarized a couple of years ago. Don Bear, a retired law enforcement officer from Los Angeles, California. I keep an eye out, you know. Now lives in this area and he's ready to protect his family and his property at all costs. This is like Mayberry to me, you know, <laughs> even with all this going on, but uh, I obviously have firearms and I'm willing to use them if I have to. But there's one thing that Bear isn't quite comfortable with, the lack of police presence outside of the city limits. And so you're never going to see a patrol car, you know, and, and it's really sad because it's, you know, really the best thing is to have a police presence and deterrence, but... Um, you're kind of on your own. Over the past two months, a series of burglary sprees have been called into police who say a group of at least three people have been canvassing the neighborhood, knocking on doors and waiting for an answer. There are, in many of these cases, three suspects who are working together. And one of the suspects will come up to the door and knock. And if nobody answers, then the other two will then force entry and they'll commit the burglary. Now, if someone is home, the person knocking has an excuse. If somebody does answer, then they'll say they're looking for a lost dog or their car is broken down. And so if somebody comes to your door and knocks on your door and makes a statement like that, that's suspicious, and so give us a call. Sheriff's deputies are also looking for this vehicle, a tan Ford Aerostar. While sheriff's deputies suspect that multiple people are involved, they suspect that multiple cars are too. If you get a strange knock at the door and you feel uncomfortable, let the sheriff's department know about it. And remember to get a good description and a license plate number if you can. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.